We're not charged, but we gotta go. Got a bunch of stuff to do today. Disconnect. Put this back in the uh, wall connector. It's not a charger. Hello and good morning. Today we're in Big Al. Big Al is my wife's Model Y. Yeah, we've got a bunch of messing around today and uh, she got home from Nashville yesterday and uh, we just uh, started charging at 10 a.m. on the solar. If we take a look here, we can see that it's 130 miles. Now, I think we probably got better part of 100 miles, but am I worried? No, of course not. There's plenty of charging now. There's a new supercharger in Hendersonville where we're going and points north. Let's hit it. One of the cool things here in a Tesla is depending upon who walks near the vehicle first, the profile gets set. In this case, it's EV Dave. That allows the seats, the mirrors, the temperature, and all the different parameters that I prefer to be set in the car. Even though this is the Model Y my wife drives all the time, when she walks near it and I'm not in it, it configures it for her. That's how the profile system works here in the Tesla. Yeah, and as you can see, it's gonna be a rainy one today. Just did our business here in the town of Landrum. Now we're headed all the way up to Skyland, North Carolina. We're gonna have a little lunch at our favorite Mexican restaurant. Our navigation and predicting 25% on arrival. Yeah, like I told you, we didn't leave with 100%. We didn't leave with 80%. We left with 42%. So we've got 32 miles up. 32 miles back, a bunch of errands to do up there. You know what? It is no problem here in the Tesla Model Y. We made it up here to the Hendersonville, North Carolina area. Looks like 11 miles to our turn. 23% on arrival. Again, it's a no-brainer. Looks like most of the rain is uh, held off right here, but we'll see how it goes today. And uh, the new supercharger's just off uh, this highway here, to the left, to the west. It's kind of cool. Anyway, uh, looks like nine miles to our turn. Looks like rain's uh, not so bad here. The never-ending construction story, just north of Hendersonville, all the way up into the Asheville area. They're uh, making, what, three or four lanes in each direction. And uh, it's taken forever, years. We're just uh, making our way through the endless construction. Oh yeah, we're on autopilot too. <laughs> As predicted, we arrived with 24% or 73 miles. Is that making you nervous? If you're in the Hendersonville area, more importantly the Skyland area, try to come. Casa Torres. Excellent food. They do it way you want and it's a very popular place. Try it. Yeah, check this out. This is an El Pastor burrito. No cheese. Salsa verde and solamente arroz. What an awesome lunch. Yeah, we're always uh, happy to come here. All right, miles, 70 miles, uh-oh, 69 miles now, uh-oh. Next stop, Sam's Club, 19%, oh no! We're in the Walmart shopping uh, parking lot here. Sam's Club's located way in the back here in Hendersonville, which is fine. Got a little shopping to do Wally also, so it's okay. Still predicted to arrive at 19%. Uh-oh, we're at 19% now. What's gonna happen? As predicted, 19% and 19%. All right, we're headed into Sam's Club. Look at that, the cats and dogs are gonna eat good today. Now we're headed to get the dog food. Look at that. 
That's what barn cats do for you. And there we go. The dogs, the cats, everything else. Yeah, we have barn cats. They're a hungry little bunch. We're by the good stuff now. Check this out. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, two bucks a battery. Yeah, we use these in our smoke detectors and our locks and things. Some nice um, blackberries. Got some uh, espresso ground, uh, make that whole beans for the coffee, salads, vegetables. I think we're just about done. I think we're going to head out of here. We better get out of here quick. We're uh, continuing <laughs> to fill up here. Wow. Question is, will it fit? Yeah, I think it might. We only have one. I've seen three or four here, so let's see. Yeah, look at that, it's empty. And look at this. It's empty. Except for a couple washers. How about that? Alright, well let's get it loaded up here. Yeah, I did a pretty good job. Bunch of the cat food and some dog food and some other stuff. My coffee in there. I'll shove this back in there. There we go. Nice and flat. Now we'll put the rest of this junk in there. Well, there you go. Yeah, we barely made a dent. All right, it's on to Wally Mart. Back in the car, and here's a fun fact. Once the battery level drops below 20%, it uh, shuts off the sentry mode, which is the security system that monitors all around the car. It's built into the Tesla. All right, I'm waiting for my wife. She forgot one thing. I'm sitting here, and as soon as I get the call, we'll pick her up and on to the next store. A lot of people who have never heard of Tesla certainly hasn't heard of the full self-driving or the sentry mode or the Tesla cam built into each one of the cars. This is a, a view of what the camera sees. Uh, you see vehicles out there, and if we look outside here, let me see if you can see that. So we see all these vehicles, and we look here. Let's see if I can open this up a little bit, and you guys can... Uh, see for yourself here's a fun fact you see those people walk in there well there they are and yes the camera sees them too this is how the tesla is able to drive itself from point a to point b using full self-driving and yeah, we have another one and there he is on the screen this is recognized by the computer. The computer sees just like you do with your two eyeballs. We're now at Walmart right next door, 18%. And uh, no dog mode. Yeah, we got everything here at Walmart. Yeah, we have another haul here at Walmart. Yeah, look at all that. We're set to go now. And the whole back of the Y is full, 13% on arrival in Tryon. We got a couple more places, let's go. We're on Interstate 26, southbound. We're just going down the Saluda grade. Drops down, I don't know, 6,700 feet here from the valley up in Hendersonville. See a long ways out there in the distance, as you can see. As we come around, we get to see the power plant at Cliffside. They can't see it today. And we are off the interstate. This is a roundabout. We're uh, going to be going over to the next store here, just on the right. Yes, we are at Tractor Supply, and just like it says, all kinds of parts for your farm, tractor, you name it. We buy dog food here. It's actually a reasonably priced uh, a store for that, and it's pretty nice. Nice people. It's uh, kind of a local uh, in the southeast here. All right, here we are. We're at Tractor Supply, and guess what? 
we have 13%. Now, if you're new to EVs or even a gas or diesel car, you may have range anxiety. Range anxiety is something that affects all vehicles, boats, cars, trucks, you name it. And what range anxiety is, is when you fuel your vehicle, you're wanting to get to where you're going and back and you want to make sure you have enough fuel in that vehicle. Whether that fuel is gasoline, diesel, hydrogen, or electrons, you get a little hinky. Now, some EVs, not Teslas, are not so good at calculating your range. They have what's called a GOM, a guessometer. A guessometer is part of the vehicle that actually tells you how far you can go with the available charge. 13% for you miles, folks, is 40 miles. Teslas, you're going to get all of 40. When you finally get to zero, guess what? You get another 15 or 20 miles to go. I remember in a Ford Explorer when that baby hit E, you were walking. My Toyota that I drove years ago, you hit E and you had 30 more miles to go. Tesla's very much like that. It gives the user a very good feeling knowing that you're not going to just stop on the side of the road. Can you uh, regularly use that below zero? Absolutely. It does vary and it's not guaranteed, but it's there. I am home. Look at the rain. Yeah, let's have a look at the stats here in the Model Y. I made it home. Yeah, I'm here in uh, my house in Tryon. Look at that. Arrived with 11%. And you guys were worried that I wasn't going to make it. Let me just say, you've heard it before, but a Tesla is very, very well engineered. In fact, it's the best vehicle that you can buy that's electric. If you do hit zero as far as your range goes, it doesn't matter. The Tesla will do another 15 or 20 miles. Plenty of range to get you to a charge stop. Can you run out? Absolutely. Just like any petroleum vehicle or gas or diesel vehicle, you're going to run out. You'll run out of electrons here in the car if you ignore the warning. Not only does it give you a warning, but it gives you directions to get a charge. Can't get any better than that. Today's takeaway, of course, is do not worry about the range. If you have enough range, as shown here, if you're a miles person, you say, oh, look, I need to go 13 miles. If you got enough here, you got it made. If you like this video, give me a like. And if you would, please share and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Thanks for watching. I'll look for you in the next videos and take care.